Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeffrick here with theCUBE. We are live in San Francisco, Pier 48, GE Mines and Machines, and it's all about IoT and industrial IoT. All the players are here from GE. We've been here for a couple days, and it's pretty exciting times in the industrial internet. It's where OT meets IT, and we're really excited to be joined by our next guest, Mike Campbell, the EVP ThoughtWorks products for PTC. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Absolutely. I know you got a short time window. You're going to go uh, give a live demo. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are up to and what you're going to be showing in 20 minutes. Yeah, sure. So uh, I work at, uh, work at PTC. We're uh, about a $1.3 billion software company based up in Boston. We have uh, about a 30 year history actually. We've been around for a while helping companies um, in the area of product development and the way they service products. So we've got a background in CAD and product lifecycle management. And, uh, and helping them uh, figure out how to service discreetly manufactured products. Companies like Caterpillar, Volkswagen, those are the guys that would be using our software. GE, of course, as well. And um, over the past three to five years or so, we've been getting more and more into IoT. Uh, many of our customers want to take advantage of IoT because they want to they do what? They want to service their products better, they want to operate their products better, manufacture them, and create them better. Right. And that's what we've been helping them do for three decades. So we've, um, through acquisition and organic development, we've built a platform called ThingWorks. It's an IoT platform, purpose built for the industrial IoT, and uh, allows them to connect their assets in the field, aggregate the data, analyze it, visualize it, create apps on top of it, and uh, one, of the, one of the big differentiators for us is the ability to use all of that to power augmented reality. So we are here talking about um, the whole platform and the value of that platform to help people really experience IoT. So a little bit later today, uh, I'll be joining some folks from GE Transportation to show how that might work if you're a service technician. So the locomotive's got an issue, you bring it in, you want to know what's wrong with it, you can look at screens, you can go to many different systems, you can look at paper, or you can have all of that information presented in front of you on a tablet, maybe on digital eyewear, right, right. and you can see what's going on, what are the sensor values, what's the tailored work scope, what do the analytics say, and what do you need to do? And um, you know, if you've been doing the job for 40 years, maybe you know what to do, but maybe you don't know what to do, right? right maybe it's right. a unique occurrence, maybe you've never worked on this model before, so we can help them uh, really understand exactly what needs to be done and, and, and help them be more efficient. I love the, the augmented reality, the augmented intelligence, because there's nothing, as, as we've heard before, in the, there's nothing artificial about it, right? It's yeah. not artificial intelligence, That's it's right. augmented, and it's really the combination of having that data at your disposal, whether it's on, on an eyepiece or something, while you're physically with the, with the product, yeah. that enables you to really do, do good work. But I'm curious, yeah. you, with your historical perspective, how have things changed over the last couple of years? The Predix Cloud was launched earlier this, this calendar year. You know, what's different now that you guys could do that you couldn't do before, and why GE? Why are you partnering with GE? Well, I mean, we're partnering with GE because they've got an outstanding perspective on what's going on in the industrial IoT, right? I mean, they have, they have these key verticals that, that they know deeply. They've been in manufacturing for 130 years. They've seen the trends come and go. And, um, and they're a great partner, and, and they're in the midst of a transformation as well, right? I mean, I said we've been around for a long time, and we're a different company today than we were five years ago, than we were 10 years ago, and they're in the, in the midst of a great transformation as well, and clearly Jeff and the leadership team have bet the company on you know, going through this transformation to become a software company, to become a digital provider, and um, you know, that's, that's what we do as well. So we already have a great relationship with them. We have a lot of respect for them. We're very happy to be uh, happy to be working with them and uh, and strengthening the the, the relationship. Um, you know what what's changed? I mean, I think that people are really beginning to understand the value that IoT can provide in the in the enterprise. You know, the the, the internet for a long time has changed the way that we as people interact with each other. Um, but you know, the industrial IoT people are figuring out how to aggregate this information and how to get more productive and get more insights and make better products and get happier customers, and like the, the path is becoming clearer um, to how you do that. It's still not crystal clear, right. we still have a lot to learn, um, but I think, that, you know, I think that, that, that that's a big change. I also feel like there's a, there's a big change in terms of, you know, where we're not talking about machine to machine anymore, right? We're talking about the internet of things, and frankly, I think that people are part of those things as well. You know, the way that people interact and, and, and are exposed to information and can consume it and can influence it. And you know, I think that was part of, the, part of the challenge with artificial intelligence 1.0 is that it was about replacing people. And today when we think about it, it's about making people better, empowering people, making them more efficient, making them 
making them better at what they do. So it's a it's a pretty exciting time, you know. I mean, you can see it here at the event. Right. Even just compared to last year, I mean, there's a there's a lot more exciting, substantial things going on here this year, and um, it's uh, it's fun to be part of. So you know, you guys have done product lifecycle management, and and there's a lot of talk here about the asset lifecycle management, and then the digital twin for modeling all this stuff. Yeah. And now so much more data at the individual asset level, and yeah. then the individual component within the asset. Yeah. Um, so the sophistication in which you can apply this technology is, in the knowledge, way different than it used to yeah, be. Yeah, it, it, it really is fascinating. I mean, I think this, this vision of a digital twin, of a complete digital replica that represents everything that's happening in the, in the, in the real world is a fascinating concept, right? It's a, it's a great idea that, that, that many companies GE and others, many in the Department of uh, Defense and Energy, those guys are thinking about those ideas. And um, it's big and it's cool and it's very interesting, it's exciting to think about. Um, but what I think is really important is companies think about that idea to really think about like, what are the practical implications? Right, Where am I going right. to get the most value? Because the effort that's going to go into aggregating that information and collecting it and keeping it up to date there's a lot going on out there in the world, right? So keeping all of that stuff in sync is, is, a, is a big challenge, no matter how well connected everything is. So I think that you know, part of the challenge companies have is figuring out what's the value that I'm going to be able to get out of this, right? What's the use case? What am I going after? And then building a digital twin that represents that right. so that you can leverage that and, and then build upon it. Right, and, 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 and to use real data from real systems in their real operating environment Absolutely. as opposed to you know, a model that was created at some point in time based yeah. on some aggregate yeah. uh, in which then you said, you know, change your oil every 3,000 miles. Well, not that's necessarily right. for this car or that car, depending that's right. who's driving and where they're driving it. I mean, that's, the, that's really a lot of the value of IoT is that, is that insight, right? I know what's actually happening now. I, I, I designed a process or I designed a product and I had an idealized set of requirements. I thought I knew what would happen, but now I can validate that and I can kind of correct based on what's actually happening out there. And, and maybe I over-engineered the product, or maybe I under-engineered the process. Now I, can, now I can correct that using the power of IoT, the power of digital twin, all that sensor and intelligence. Right, and, 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 and whatever the, the relative business model is that I want to optimize for now, not necessarily for lifetime, not necessarily for output. You know, That's there's right. all types of That's things right. that you can I've got a lot more flexibility. In a dynamic, right, in a dynamic situation. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so before I let you go get <laughs> into the demo, good luck on the demo, by Thank the way. Thank you very much. Hopefully the demo gods are smiling down. Um, any, any, uh, anything you want to highlight on it for people that aren't here that you that you can share? Yeah, I mean, the, the one thing I would highlight for the people that aren't here is they should be here, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a great event. There's a there's a couple thousand people here. Um, you know, some great presenters, great stories being told, great technology being shown off, and a pretty good place to be. So yeah. happy to have had the chance to talk to you. Love it, and, and the excitement, and, and old companies, you know, reinventing themselves around this great new opportunity is is terrific. All right, Michael, thanks for stopping by. We'll let you get uh, get over to the demo. My pleasure. Put thanks the goggles so much. on. I'm Jeff Rick. He's Mike Campbell. You're watching theCUBE from GE Minds and Machines. We'll be back after this short break.